Hello everyone, welcome to Jadam Ultra Low Cost Agriculture. In this video, we are going to show you the detailed procedure of making your own Jadam wedding agent. Manufacturing own JWA and other mentioned inputs of farming is legal for almost every country in the world that follows the regulation of USDA organic including South Korea. If you are not aware of farming, wedding agent, also known as emulsifying agent, is mandatory input when it comes to pest control. For example, when any pesticide is sprayed without mixing with wetting agent, breakage will occur and won't even coat the surface of the leaves like in this picture, and this phenomena will leave a mark on the plant. The trace of pesticide can affect the final result and eventually lower the quality of the produce. But if you mix any sort of pesticide with wetting agent, you can see it spread firmly and clearly like in this picture. This is my pepper farm, because we always mix JWA when spraying natural pesticide. As you can see from the picture, it firmly coated the plant and its leaves. Even if you apply more than 10 times, the leaves rarely get dirty and do not leave any trace of wetting agent afterwards. So the fruits are clean until the end of the season. We all know that taro plant has its waterproof function, but with JWA, you can even wet taro leaves. As you can see from here, whatever farming method you are applying to control pests, you always need wetting agent whether it's conventional or organic farming. To make your pesticide worth money, wetting agent is mandatory ingredient to see its best synergistic effect with other pesticide. There was one reason I came across inventing wetting agent for farming. Because commercially available eco-friendly wetting agent costs $20 per liter, which is ridiculously expensive when we are talking about applying pesticide in medium-sized farm. Many of us might not know that wetting agents are same as liquid soap that we use daily basis. But we think it's different product because we think it's used on different circumstances. If you see on the left, this is the way of making ordinary soap which is already open to the public. I majored in chemistry, so I thought I could follow exact method to create my own. But soon after, it made me think that there is some conspiracy in the technology. It seems like this simple method of making soap is intentionally made difficult to follow. So what are the benefits of introducing method that is difficult? Many people will pay to learn for longer time and at the end, people will get tired of learning with many failure, giving up on making their own soap eventually end up buying their product which can be made by themselves. This is also very common truth in agriculture sector. Some creators and instructors will intentionally teach you the method that is difficult and if not, they will come up with special ingredient which you have to purchase every time from them even if they know the truth of how to make a compost or any input. And that lead other learners to purchase their finished product. This is sort of their way of sales gimmick. For many years, I have witnessed situations like this. So I decided to invent a technology of an eco-friendly wedding agent that is dramatically simple to make with very affordable price. This method can be made within 10 minutes of stirring without external heating and can be used within 4 days without long aging period. After invention of JWA, I met a couple of natural soap experts and they were shocked by the tech that I showed them because it was way easier and simpler than what they have learned for many years. So I decided not to patent this invention, instead I disclosed to the public for good use. Self-made natural detergent will only cost you about $1 per liter which is nothing compared to what we purchase from the market. And to make this natural detergent to use it for natural pesticide, you must mix with Jadam Herbal Solution and Jadam Sulfur to see its effect. Overall, cost of diluting in 500 liters would only cost you $4. And treatment for powdery mildew will cost you $4.5 which enables farmers to practice ultra-low-cost agriculture. This is not just a claim that I made up after invention. I have tested JWA and JS on the field in my farm many times and I can confidently say that it works. So do many farmers around the world knows the effect of JWA. Jadam natural pesticide can definitely replace chemical pesticide. As you heard from the beginning about the cost, with us, you can reduce up to 95% of the input cost. Can you see the picture right here? When you use anything mixed with JWA, it covers the surface of the insect's body, which blocks the air, making aphid unable to breathe. This also means JWA alone can show you amazing effects. I can tell 
This is the most harmless way of getting rid of aphid. This is Worley aphid. As you can see, the white powder makes it hard for any solution to penetrate deeper into their body. This is the kind that what most farmers are struggling with. However, with Jadam wetting agent, penetrating into their body will be much easier than before. You'll be able to see it can be controlled after a few hours of spraying the solution. As I mentioned before, JW alone can solve common problems like aphid, but with combination of JHS and JS, the effects of pesticide would become much more powerful. This pest right here is called tobacco cutworm. It is known to be hard as pest to control, but by increasing the ratio of JWA, it can be controlled easily. I have asked many farmers what is their common and most irritating problem when it comes to pest, and the most of them said controlling aphid is one of the big problem they have. And that is not just for organic farmers, conventional farmers are also struggling with the same problem. The mite is also known to be one of the big struggle which needs mixture of several pesticides to treat because it builds up its tolerance on pests. However, with Jadam, anything mentioned above is not a big deal, including powdery mildew and greenhouse whitefly. So from now on, let me show you the short process of making JWA. First, I have added potassium hydroxide into the water and added canola oil. Next, I used electric drill to stir. During the process, the solution will turn a little bit thicker like a thin mayonnaise. This initial process will take about 10 minutes, then you have to let it age it for 3 days which will make the solution turn into like a butter. After aging, use the drill to break down all the solution after adding water to melt properly. And by stirring slowly and occasionally, the whole process will be complete within 24 hours. One thing to note that there can be a little time difference depending on the temperature where you proceed this operation. I have invented many other solutions apart from JS and JWA. And I have listed all of my invention on our website and my book, Jadam Organic Farming. It is translated into five different languages including English. And now it is sold in Amazon.com. Also, we have listed all the ingredient supplier all over the world so that you can purchase your own ingredient directly from the supplier. This is the analytic table of JWA. As you can see, there is about 2% of potassium oxide present in the solution. So it is not just a pesticide. It can also be nutrient for the crop and moreover, it has a function of promoting color of your produce. Use of JWA is allowed in South Korea under Environmentally Friendly Agriculture Act. Moreover, the ingredient of JWA follows the regulation of USDA Organic, and those substances are on USDA Organic National List EPA-4 and EPA-3, which is allowed for organic production and crop management. JWA and JS are made only from the corresponding natural substance. Therefore, farmers can get organic certified all over the globe. Unlike chemical pesticide, there is one thing that should be strictly followed, and that is using soft water for making JWA. Even when mixing with other solution for use, you must use soft water to make and use. Speaking about the soft water, it is not special water that you need to add. It is a water which contains less magnesium and calcium, also known as distilled water. During the old times in Asian countries, to wash your clothes properly, people needed soft water to clean. And to identify the quality, you simply need to mix natural detergent into the water. The picture of the water on your left is a transparent, without any blurry color. This is the kind of water that you'd want to make JWA and use it for pesticide. With this kind of water, the effect of pesticide will increase its functionality. There are also some groundwater that is soft enough to utilize for pesticide as well. However, you must check before using it. If you are not in a place where you can get soft water, then you can also collect rainwater after 30 minutes of raining for use. There is another option, which is not limited to any location, is using water softener. We have also uploaded video on how to make your own water softener with very affordable price just in case if you are situated in a place where you can purchase one for yourself. So please take time to watch our videos on our YouTube channel and also on our website. Basically what you will need is ion exchange resin for filtering high calcium and magnesium in the water. This substance is very commonly used on any water filtration household items such as Brita filter. You can even reuse the ion exchange resin for about 15 times by cleaning with salt. But after 2-3 to three years of using it, you must replace the resin. 
There are even distilled water machines sold in, in the market. So if you are not sure about DIY water softener, then you can also purchase one of those to test yourself to make JWA. Oh, and by the way, the water that coming out from the air conditioner is also soft water. So you can utilize that leftover water just in case if you have an air conditioner in your house. In this video, I introduce making JWA with canola oil, but you can also make solution with other oils as well. However, among many other oil, I do not recommend using any bean oil because the finished solution has less surfactant effect. So from now on, let me show you the whole procedure of making Jadam wedding agent. I'll continue with further explanation later after this video. So enjoy. Hi, this is Yang Sang Cho, the founder of Jadam. Here, I'm going to show you how to make JWA. The function of JWA is not just limited to surfactant, but it also have a good pesticide effect as well. Before making JWA, using soft water is extremely important. Because present of high calcium and magnesium in hard water will drop its surfactant properties and have less penetration effect. Therefore, check the quality with natural detergent or with any leftover JWA that you have made in the past. So let me show you how to determine the quality of the water with the leftover JWA by dropping some. So if you shake a little bit, so what you will see is water on your left will soon become like blurry color and the other one is transparent. And which one do you think is suited for making JWA? The transparent one is most suitable water to make JWA. However, the JWA will be very blurry if you make with the other one. The characteristics of clear water is that it creates lots of foam when I shake it. But apart from that, the other one is not really. So now you can see there's a huge difference in the foam. So a blurry one usually have a lesser foam. The water on your left is just ordinary tap water and the other water is filtered with water softener. So if you don't have soft water, then I recommend to use rainwater or distilled water. Now 10 minutes has passed. You can see the clear difference between these two water. When people are making Jadam solution, they often use the same batter which they made JS with. Please use two batter for each solution because end result of JWA will become blurry if there is any foreign matter present. And you will be needing a lot of JWA compared to JS, so make sure to clean it every time after using it. So for this procedure, unlike JS, I'm going to use electric drill to begin with. Make sure to clean all your tools before using it. So let's begin. First, you will need 2.5 liters of water. Measure it with Vicar. If not, weight 2.5 kilo. Weight accurately, otherwise you will have to stir longer if you add more than 2.5 liters and lesser will harden the JWA. The next, I will add 3.2 kilo of potassium hydroxide. Make sure to close the lid and shake a little bit until the caustic potash is dissolved completely. During this procedure, temperature will rise rapidly and there are going to be some gas created by the chemical reaction with water. So make sure to wear a mask or hold your breath for the moment. Now it's completely dissolved right now. And now I will add 18 liters of canola oil. Uh, 
Then next, I will use the drill to whisk. As I mentioned before, please use the clean drill or clean it before using it. There's a two types of drill that you can purchase from the store. One is with the wire and the other one is wireless. Wireless one will take longer time compared to the one with the wire. By the way, some people try to whisk by hand or with the wooden stick. Let me tell you that it is impossible. Moreover, you will burn your skin badly if you use your hand. So let me show you how.
Cristo, lo que dicen en el texto de Primera de Corintios, tiene que ser. Now five minutes have passed. Now you can see it turned into like a thin mayo. It took me about five to ten minutes to do this. Wireless drill will take about ten to fifteen minutes because of due to difference in RPM. So do it with observation. Make sure to drill it enough with highest RPM. Otherwise, it won't become like a butter after aging. Instead, it will stay. Thin even after aging. The solution should be like a thin mayo after enough drilling. During summer, you may need to drill a tiny bit longer due to its weather. And after first initial drilling, age it for about three days. During this aging period, internal temperature will rise from 63 Celsius degree to 80 Celsius degree. Then it will slowly cool down with saponification. Then will turn into like a butter. So this is how it looks like. There is some cases that people say it stayed murky. In that case, there is a possibility of water amount miscalculation and not enough whisk during the first initial procedure. If it doesn't turn like a butter after three days of aging, that doesn't mean that you have failed. Whisk once more until it will turn into thicker mayo, then age it another three days. And in case of jadam sulfur, the weather maybe wasn't a big obstacle, but with JWA, during winter, you may want to do this procedure inside greenhouse, then age it somewhere warmer. So, three days have passed. Let me check how it ended up. As you can see, it turned into like a butter or margarine if you like that one better. Let me show you how it exactly it feels like when I touch it. It looks hard like a butter, but when you touch it, it is much softer, like a block of cheese melted halfway. By adding more water to dissolve all of these will be completion of making JWA. But I'm not going to add all the water at once. First, I'll begin with 20 liters of water. Then I will use the drill to break down the hardened JWA into small pieces to ease the process of melting. And make sure to take off the particles on the corner as well. And now you can barely see that most of the particles are all separated. <laughs> So second stage process is all clear now and I'll add 60 liters of water to fill up the whole bucket to make 100 liters. And from here I'm going to use the wooden stick instead of drill because of the shorter length of the drill. You can still use the drill if you have a longer one. And again, please do not use the wooden stick that you have made Jadam Sulfur with. And during the winter, the particles inside might sink due to temperature, so make sure to stir evenly towards on the corners as well. Once this initial process is done, let it sit about 24 hours with stirring maybe once in an hour. By end of the 24 hours, it will be completely melted and will become in good condition to use it. You can use the drill to fast forward the melting process, but I wouldn't recommend it because it will turn JWA blurry if you whisk too much.
However, if your water is good enough, it won't happen. Now I'll close the lid for 24 hours. And by the way, there might be a time difference depending on the climate as I mentioned before. For example, country like Philippines or India, their climate is usually hotter than where we are. So the process will be a little more faster. JWA melting time could be shortened, but place with winter where the temperature drops under 10 Celsius degree, I recommend to make this JWA inside greenhouse or much warmer place. So this is how it looks like after an hour of melting. So I'm just going to stir a little bit. So this is how it looks like after two and a half hour passed. You can see there's a little bit of particle left. Let me stir a little more. And this is how it looks like after four hours of melting. And this is after six hours of the process. You can see there's a still a little bit of particle left. Let me stir a little bit. Don't worry, it will melt eventually. So be patient with the process. There is nothing wrong about it. And now 12 hours have passed since after adding water to dissolve hardened JWA. As you can see, there are a few particles left, so let me continue whisking slowly. The current temperature of the water is about 22 Celsius degree. Let me check with the amount of water. It may have evaporated a little bit. So less amount of water can slow down the melting process, so I will add a little more water to it. So this is how it looks like after 24 hours as I continuously mentioned before that melting time could differ depending on the temperature. If it's warmer, it could melt faster, but if not, it will melt a bit slower during the colder weather. So the meaning of 24 hours is just average time for both circumstances. During winter, I recommend making this inside greenhouse or somewhere much warmer than outside. So the whole procedure is now complete. And this is a JWA that collected from today. As you can see, it looks transparent with mild yellowish urine color. An overall cost of making 100 liters of JWA is $50. But with this small amount of money, now you have got 100 bottles of JWA. The average dosage of JWA is 3 liters for 500 liters. Using lesser than 3 liters would have lower surfactant function. Therefore, I would recommend to use this from 3 liters to 15 liters depending on your situation.
However, using too much amount at once will not be great for plants growth as I kept mentioning in the previous lecture videos, balance is everything when it comes to farming. So you may use maximum twice of same larger amount during emergency then slowly lower the dosage. And here I have two bottles of JWA, right one is made just right now and the other one is made two years before. There is difference in its function, the longer it gets fermented, the better the function it gets. But it doesn't mean that you have to age it longer every time. We have tested our JWA and we came to conclusion that using JWA right after melting is also good enough. And for those people who have watched our Jadam Sulfur video from our YouTube channel, in there I mentioned that you have to store Jadam Sulfur in separate container because of the concentration difference. However, you don't have to do that extra work with Jadam Wedding Agent. You can just store it in the same container where you have made your JWA. Just close the lid when you are not using it. I hope you have enjoyed watching tutorial of making JWA. It is simple and easy, isn't it? There are a lot of possibilities to make JWA with. You can also use the oil that fried Vietnamese chili. By extracting the spice into your oil, the pesticide effect of solution will be much stronger. And the next ingredient that can be fried is the Olander. Just by extracting the toxic of Olander, you can make various kind of complete JWA. This is the table that shows different amount of JWA you can use in each and every situation. First, I would recommend using from 5 liters for prevention. Then, when pest attack begins, you can increase the ratio from 8 liters to 12 liters in 500 liters during emergency. Best part of JWA is that it doesn't show any side effect. And moreover, it can be nutrition when it is sprayed. There were some claim that spraying JWA will block the pore of the crop's leaf which will affect the growth. However, such claim is very false. If you have seen our video, 80% of JWA is water. That means it evaporates as time passes. Apart from mixing Jadam herbal solution to use as pesticide, just by increasing the amount of JWA to 20 liters for 500 liters, we have seen that Jadam wetting agent alone can treat several pests. So this can be another option for people who are not willing to use herbal solution or Jadam sulfur. During early stage of farming, the seedlings are very weak. Therefore, I would recommend using JWA from 4 liters to 5 liters. The surfactant effect will get lower if you use lesser than 4 liters. As you can see from here, that 3 liters have barely wet the leaves. In this case, it might show some side effects. So using from 4 to 5 liter is important. People might think that 5 liter is too much for seedling or for the crop. But as you saw from the tutorial, that 4 liter out of 5 liters is just water. So you don't need to worry about the pores of the leaves get blocked or something like that. Apart from making 100 liters, I've also listed all of different ratio for different amount of JWA in the detail on my book Jadam Organic Farming. So if you're interested, you can purchase from Amazon. There is one more thing what makes Jadam Wedding Agent even more special. As I mentioned in the beginning part of the video that it is liquid soap. If you make your own, it is not only surfactant, but also it can be great alternative natural detergent that you can use daily basis in your house. And there is a couple of reasons why you must replace ordinary detergent to JWA. As you can see from this graph, JWA is decomposable within 5 days which do not harm our environment. And this is another reason why it is allowed for organic farming. On the other hand, ordinary synthetic surfactant and detergent never gets decomposed in the nature, which is the leading cause of destroying our mother earth. These have led to contamination of our oceans and rivers. There are also a lot of research says that these are the main cause of extinction of animals in the water. Moreover, many research shows synthetic detergent affects the health of young children. I hope people can utilize Jadam wedding agent not just as pesticide but also use it for health of their family and for this planet. I know there is a lot of movement to avoid synthetic detergent but the truth is that to proceed such act was difficult. 
because usual cost of natural detergent is way more expensive in every region of the globe. And the cost of 1 liter of Jadon wedding agent is 50 cents which is nothing compared to ordinary detergent. Amazing part of this is that Jadon wedding agent is not just limited to liquid form. You can also make solely type of soap bar with little change in the ingredient. And the best part of all is that cost of making one soap bar will only cost you 5 cents. In the next video, I'll be introducing how to make your own natural soap with Jadon wedding agent recipes. If you have found this video informative, please click thumbs up and you can click subscribe button to see more useful farming input videos. As usual, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.